Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Wi-Fi does not have a valid IP configuration. So perhaps you're running the Windows Network Diagnostic Tool and you come across that message. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would suggest would be to go ahead and open up the start menu, type in CMD, Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and just right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you're prompted with a user account control window, select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, I would type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS as you see it on my screen. So again, ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Hit enter on your keyboard to run that command. Restart your computer and see if that has resolved the problem. Another thing you can try would be if you opened up the star menu again. Type in services. Best match should come back with services right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Locate the WLAN auto config service. So I'm just going to scroll down here. right here so it's pretty close to the bottom and you want to go double click on it when I said startup type to automatic and then start the service and then select apply and okay and once you're done with that close out of here see again if that has resolved the problem another thing you can attempt would be if you want to open up the start menu just left click on start by one time Left click on the settings gear icon on the left side where you hover over it, it says settings. So go ahead and left click on that. Select the networking internet tile. Select proxy at the bottom of this list. And then make sure where it says automatically detect settings is turned on. And if it says user proxy server, if that's turned on, you want to just turn that off by toggling that to the off position by clicking inside the oval one time until it says off. Close out of here. See if that has again resolved your problem. One further thing you can attempt would be to just reset your network adapter settings. Please note that you will need to have your login credentials ready. So if you have a Wi Fi password, or whatnot, you're going to have to just retrieve that. I would suggest doing that before you reset your network. But let's open up the start menu and type in network reset here. Again, best match, network reset. Let's go ahead and select that. And this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. So again, make sure you have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby before you click on the Reset Now button. It's going to ask you sure you want to reset your network settings. Select Yes. Close out of any open programs and applications at this point. I believe your system will be shut down in about five minutes, as this prompt has just popped up that said that. But we already knew that in ahead of time because we all watched this video before actually doing anything. But still, you have plenty of time. You have five minutes to shut everything down. And then I would suggest just restarting your system uh, once you've closed out of everything, and no need to delay it pretty much. So. I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.